Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the automobile engineering. So topic is that introduction to automobile engineering. So in today class we are going to discuss the first chapter. Four topics we are going to discuss. What is automobile engineering or introduction to automobile engineering? Second one is the classification of automobile. Third is that chassis of an automobile. and the fourth one is last one is the power transmission system of an automobile so let's start introduction to automobile engineering so first of all we know what is automobile automobile is a self propelled vehicle which move from one place to another place by carrying the goods or the passenger so basically automobile are of two words containing two words first is auto and mobile auto means automatically and moving from one place to another mobile means moving from one place to another place so auto and mobile means the vehicle which is self propelled or generating the power automatically and moving from one place to another place by carrying the goods or the passenger so this is the introduction of the automobile then we move to the next topic so first of all you see what is the introduction this one so this is the definitions of automobile what is an automobile a vehicle powered <coughs> powered within itself and moving from one place to another place by carrying the passenger and the goods okay so next we we'll start the next topic is that our the classification of automobile so let's let's start the next classification of automobile so before you go for the classification of automobile all of you know the vehicles were moving on the roads and the markets so first let's go the uh, see the view of a uh, automobile this is the classification of automobile so automobile basically are of two types you know passenger vehicles and the good vehicles so passenger vehicles and good vehicles again divided into two types this is light vehicle and the heavy vehicle and here also in the case of the good vehicle light vehicle and heavy vehicle again we will divided the basically light vehicle will divided into various types first one is that auto cycles uh, then moped means lunas and uh, scooters motorcycles then jeep station wagons uh, next pickup vans and the cars this is the light passenger vehicles then we will discuss about the heavy vehicle of the passengers this one is the heavy vehicle of passenger vehicles and here the heavy vehicles will divided into two types first one is the buses and the coaches then buses will divided into single deck and double deck single deck means one floor one floor that buses and double deck in the either using now it is small amount of buses are there so that is double deck two floors uh, buses are there and uh, next we are going to the coaches in heavy vehicle coaches are two types deluxe coach and the air condition coach then next one is that in the case of the uh, our goods vehicles goods vehicle we are divided into light vehicle and heavy vehicle heavy vehicle will divided into trucks and tractors and the light vehicles will divided into delivery van light trucks and the tempo 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 you have seen three wheeler and four wheelers this is also classified so these are total the classification of automobile let's see some views of classification of automobile so i'll show you here is the some uh, small trucks on the vans goods vehicles lightweight goods vehicles and another thing is that here is also these are the good vehicles heavy vehicles and the, these two are lightweight vehicles of different classifications and small gradation of the vehicles is here also i have i will show you this is the small scooters and the small sports bikes to up to the heavy vehicle here is the heavy vehicles so these are the basic concept of the classification of automobile so let's we will discuss about the next topic is that chassis of an automobile so now we are going to discuss about the next topic chassis of an automobile so chassis so let's see the view so 
so here is the um, schematic diagram of the chassis first of all we know what is chassis chassis is the main frame at the skeleton of the automobile where all the major components are mounted if you see by removing all the cover of the vehicle how, what you have see that there is the main skeleton is there and the skeleton that's which contain the engine or the various major components that part that main frame is known as the chassis so chassis chassis basically it contain the some major components we will discuss now so first of all here is the radiator then second one is the engine and third one is the clutch then gearbox then here is the propeller shaft then again universal joint there is two universal joints are there and then next is the differential and the rear wheels so these are the major components you have seen before i think so these are the main components which is contained in the chassis so next we will discuss about next topic we will discuss about the means next point you will discuss about the major components which is working as it is working and the, what is the power transmission system of the automobile let's start so now we are going to discuss about the the power transmission system of an automobile so let's start so power will generate here at the engine so engine will consume the fuel by consuming the fuel it will give by combustion of the uh, fuel it will give the output in the form of rotation of the crankshaft so here is the engine engine will produce the power and give the output as the form of rotation of the crankshaft inside the engine there is a crankshaft the that is the output of the engine after the output of the engine it is connected to the clutch so here clutch what is the function of clutch is to engage and disengage the both input shaft of the gearbox and output of the engine so main function is that when we are applying the clutch pedal or clutch at that time it will disengage it will disengage disengage which one is disengage the output of the engine and input of the gearbox here is that when we are applying the clutch it will smooth the gearbox system smooth the gearbox system and at that time we are applying the gear first gear second gear third gear or reducing that the gears okay so now we are going to discuss about the clutch what is the function of clutch clutch main function of the clutch is to engage and disengage the output of the engine to the input of the gearbox so there is a between clutch is situated that engine is here and gearbox is here so in between the, there is a clutch so main function of the clutch is that when you are applying the clutch you are press the clutch pedal or applying the clutch at that time so what happened it will disengage both the input input of the gearbox and the output of the engine so when it will disengage we can easily smoothly change the gear first gear second gear third gear why it is required when we slower the our vehicle at the time of if a speed breaker is there traffic is there hill station is there when we are reducing the speed at that time we reduce the gear first gear so means if we are applying the fourth gear we are reducing the third gear second gear or first gear if you are increase the speed at that time we are applying the clutch and again first gear second gear third gear we are applying at that time when we are applying the clutch it will do the disengaging the output of the uh, uh, engine that is crankshaft and the input of the gearbox so when it is disengaged you can smoothly change the gear if you are not applying the clutch at that time that is a awkward sound is occur so that's why we are using the clutch the main function of the clutch to engage and disengage the output of the engine and input of the gearbox and next topic next function of the gearbox is that it will give the function of gearbox it will give the various speed ratio it will give the various speed ratio if you require the higher speed then we will change the gear first gear to second then if you need and then higher again second to third and third to fourth and fourth to five like this we are changing the gear if we are reducing the speed at the time of speed breaker at the time of speed breakers and the traffic if suddenly we are applying the brake at that time we are reducing the gears means fourth gear to third gear third gear to second gear at that time we are changing the gear so it will change the gear ratio then it will give, uh, give the output how much amount of rotation to the rear wheel so this is the main function of the gearbox 
नेक्स्ट इज दैट द प्रोपेलर साफ्ट सो प्रोपेलर साफ्ट द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द प्रोपेलर साफ्ट इज टू गिव द इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ रोटेशन टू द डिफरेंशियल to the differential at some angle so you have seen that as a below the truck and the vehicle there is a shaft that is rotating yes or no that is rotating so this shaft is known as the propeller shaft you have seen already so when you see that that propeller shaft is at some angle and it will rotating like this and it is some angle so this both angles are equal both angles are equal how it is possible that there is two joints are there this called as the universal joint this joint is known as the universal joint two universal joints are there at the output of the gearbox and input of the differential so it is possible due to the universal joint only so next topic we will discuss about the universal joint before it is you just know what is universal joint so universal joint is to transfer the rotational motion without any <coughs> reducing of the rotational motion so here the propeller shaft it will at some angle here you have seen here here is the propeller shaft it will uh, it will transfer the rotational motion at some angle here is the propeller shaft you have seen already then next part is that differential so differential the main function of the differential to give the rotational motion to the rear wheel as per the requirement suppose example i will turn the vehicle to the left side at that time we required the less rotation to the left side wheel and maximum rotation to the right side wheel so main function of the differential to the rotate to the left side wheel a small rotation it will give and the maximum rotation to the right side wheel that's why the vehicle will rotate to the left turn if we come for the for the take the example of the right side turn if we steer the uh, vehicle to the right side at that time what will happen the right side wheel rotates uh, less as compared to the left side wheel so it will occur due to the differential only so why it will occur there is a function of the gears uh, mounting it is known as non and planetary mechanism inside the differential so that's why it will happen so this is the total power system power transmission system of the automobile so power transmission system means the power gen generation to the execute to the roads it is known as the power transmission system means power will generate at the engine and it will transfer to the gearbox through the clutch then it will transfer to the uh, propeller shaft through the uh, universal joint then propeller shaft to the differential then differential to the rear axle and the rear wheel so it is the total power transmission system of the automobile clear then we will see some views of some photos of different major components let's see so now we are, we see some the major components image of the some major components first of all uh, this is called the engine this one is the engine of the any of the vehicle so uh, this type of engine are mounted in, inside the in, uh, vehicle and uh, next part after the engine we'll see this is the clutch this is the clutch and here is the flywheel and uh, clutch plate and the pressure plate and diaphragm spring this is the mounting of the clutch then after clutch we are having this is the clutch this one is the engine clutch and the gearbox here is the gearbox you have seen this one here is the different type of gear ratio are applied next here is the universal joint two universal joint one propeller shaft is there here is the slip joint next uh, another class we will discuss about the slip joint also so here is the propeller shaft this is, here is the engine and at some angle it will transmit the rotational motion next uh, you have seen in the back side uh, this is a doom is there so this is called as the differential so differential it will transfer the actual amount of rotation to the rear wheels okay and uh, here is the actual view actual view of the differential you have seen before it is i think and uh, next one is that and inside the differential inside the differential this is the gear mountings that is called as the sound and planetary mechanism is mounted here and uh, finally uh, this is the total actual uh, view of the vehicle how it is seen 
uh, this is the chassis and four wheels are there engine clutch gearbox propeller shaft and the uh, here is a propeller shaft again and this this is the differential and two rear wheels so total this is uh, the main uh, view of the chassis and the main frame so this class uh, is totally based on the how the chassis is look like and thank you all hope you like please subscribe our channel thank you all